Now, in this part of the question, the first part then, what I've done is started a sketch off of the car and the trailer, car being 800 kilograms and the trailer 200 kilograms and they're attached by the tow bar. And what we need to do is to put on all the forces, first of all, that are acting on the car and the trailer. Well, we're going to have the weight of the car, that's going to be 800 G Newtons. We're going to have a reaction from the car, so we'll just call that RC Newtons. The car has a driving force, a constant driving force of 1200 Newtons, so that's going to be a forward force of 1200 Newtons. There's a resistance to motion on the car that's going to act in this direction. We're told that that's 400 Newtons, so pop that in there. And what else have we got? We've got the trailer now. We've got the weight of the trailer. That's going to be 200 G Newtons. We've got a reaction from the ground on the trailer. Let's call that RT Newtons. There's a resistance to motion, and we're told that that's 200 newtons. Now, because the two are connected via the tow bar, there's going to be a force in the tow bar, a tension in the tow bar. The trailer is going to be pulled along by the car, so there's going to be a forward tension here. Let's call it T newtons. And the car is going to feel a force equal and opposite to this tension coming backwards, trying to pull it back. All right? That would be T Newton, say. Now, the car and the trailer, because the tow bar is inextensible, are both going to experience the same acceleration, a general acceleration, which I'll call A, A meters per second per second. And in this part of the question then, we're asked to find the acceleration of the car and trailer. So what I'm going to do is consider the composite body, both the car and the trailer. So we'll just put this down here, consider the car and trailer. Okay, all in one go. And to get the acceleration, all I need to do is to resolve in the direction of motion, which would be to the right. And so what we've got is we've got 1,200 newtons from the car here. We've got minus 400. And effectively, we've got minus t. We don't really need to put this T in because, as you'll see in a moment, the T's will cancel. And then we've got this T here, that's plus T. And then we've got minus 200, this force here. We can ignore the reactions and the weights because they are acting perpendicular to the horizontal. So this is our resultant force that acts on the car and trailer, and that resultant force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. The mass being the total of 800 and 200 here, so in other words 1000 kilograms, and that's times the acceleration A. Now as I said earlier, you didn't really need to put in these T's because they cancel out. They're equal and opposite. So simplifying the left hand side, you get 600 and then we have this equaling 1000 A. So to get A, all we need to do is divide both sides by 1000 and if you work that out, quite simply the acceleration is going to be 0 0.6 meters per second per second. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of the first part of this question.